Well, good morning. It's um, another outside broadcast today. It's, it's uh, 6 a.m. and it's, the sun is just about to come up on the seafront in Clontarf. And it's pretty spectacular out there. You can't really see it. Anyway, the reason I'm here is because I thought I could entertain some of your kids today, seeing as how everybody's gone slightly bonkers, including myself. So, here's an idea. Um, I was raised in the era of Enid Blyton and I was obsessed with the magic faraway tree and Silky and Moonface and Pop Biscuits and all of those characters that were lived in the tree. So when um, a man called Tommy Craggs came to Ireland, he carved a magnificent tree at the bottom of, um, just on the seafront there, where the causeway goes down to the, the beach. So. I became obsessed with Tommy Craig's and his tree, so I decided to follow the carving of the tree. So this, so as he was carving each animal, so that's Walter the octopus there, um, that's Big Blue the whale, you can see his eye, and we have Sabine, who's the seahorse from San Mont Saint Michel. So as he was carving each animal, oh that's Sally squid around there who's in love with Walter the octopus but he's on the other side of the tree so with Katie the bee I have Sophie the swan at the very top of the tree of course my beautiful Sophie got the swan position um, so um, with Mikey the badger uh, we'd, uh, <laughs> we've Aaron and Simon who were the two turtles um, I, and I've I so what I did was I followed as he was carving the animals I gave every animal a name and a personality and I was completely and utterly fascinated by this man and his carving of the tree and I could see the animals I could see the animals taking on a personality as as Tom was carving so I have gone through the tree in great depth and this is something you can do with your kids so Sophie the Swan Ron the mean little mole Wi-Fi the weasel, Sasha the snail, Pipistrel the bat, Windy the frog, Dippy, Whiskers and Dive the sea lion siblings, Emma the sandpiper, Mila the house mouse, Big Blue the whale, Katie the bumblebee, Brenda Anya Breed, Jackie the wise owls, Caroline Curlew, Elizabeth Hare, Helga the heron, um, Carl the Aussie oyster catcher, Carl being a very special person in all of our lives, uh, Mikey the belligerent badger, Thomas and Tina turtle, Mick the kind kestrel, and it goes on and on and on. So if you came down here with your kids, um, you could sit and you could count the animals in the tree, because I know exactly how many animals are in that tree, and I know all of their personalities, I know about all their lives. So then I decided, um, in my spare time when I'm sitting in airports, that I, and I've been doing this for years, I've been writing children's poetry for years, um, and I've done it um, personalised poems for kids at Christmas and I've wrapped them up in ribbons and added little bits of trinkety things to them and given them to children just because kids love reading their own names and poems. So I then decided that um, I'd write a book, a children's book. So that's exactly what I did. So I wrote a book called Is It True? And a magnificent um, uh, Cart well, artist uh, called Bunty B on Instagram. Actually, her name is Bron Lee, and um, she's fabulously talented. And so she put pictures to my animals. So we just, I had a vision in my head that when the tree was dying, that the fairies and the elves in St. Anne's Park sent um, a bee across the sea to find Tommy Craggs. And, um, and Tommy Craggs is a real person. So I had to get Tommy's permission to do this. And that he came back and he, so we've got the most exquisite uh, drawings in our book. And um, so Katie the bee goes off and um, she finds Tommy and she brings him back. She brings a note from the animals in the forest to try and save this big tree stump. And so Tommy comes back in his boat with his dog, uh, which he did. He didn't come in a boat, but he came in a jeep with his dog and uh, he carved this magnificent tree. So we are blessed in Clontarf because we have this. And uh, so I wrote a children's book about all the animals in the tree. And the idea is that children can come here during the day, which your kids can do. And they can make a wish at this tree, which you actually all can do. And the idea is that they come to the tree and they make a wish. 
um, and they have to whisper the wish into the tree. They don't touch it, they just whisper a wish into the tree. And then at night time, the relevant animals come to slide down off the tree and they make the wish come true. And um, so every night there's a different adventure of Walter the octopus and he's sliding through the Liffey and he's going into the city and some of them are going to Holton and some of them are going into the park and with the elves and the fairies etc. And they all create the children's wishes but the wishes had to be eco-friendly wishes. They couldn't be like for a new iPhone. So the wishes were um, for, th for things like can we have more bees in our back garden or can we try and you know or it, they might have been like you know kind wishes basically what they were. Um, so if a child came to the tree and they were being bullied or anything, they could tell the animals and the animals would sort it out that night. So I wrote multiple stories um, about different children um, and they all rhyme in a silly way. Now, you know, it's a babyish book. It's like three or four years of age book, but they rhyme in a very sweet way. And, um, and, all, and every single animal gets a chance to come slide down off the tree at night and, and grant the wishes. So I sent the book off and... Um, we did we we did up a mock-up book actually just so you know what people do when they write books <laughs> thank god it's not my full-time career because i'd be absolutely devastated so i sent the book off uh, sophie my daughter put the book together in the most beautiful way and we sent the book